Hello, welcome to the channel. We are going to be talking today about a program called Mixline from Logitech G and it's really cool. It's like a virtual mixing software. It's totally awesome because now I can only use one computer for my guitar setup and I'm really happy about that. First off, let's go through some tech hardware stuff that I have. I got my, my gaming build. I got a four input Personas Studio 68C audio interface and it's important that it's four I don't know if the two inputs can do this, um, but for musician, four input is a good choice anyway. And then I've got my guitar here, my keysel, that's going through a drop pedal into the instrument input, the Shure MD7X. It's going to the three slash four input on the interface, and I'll explain that in a second. I'm also using the Neural DSP program for the guitar sound. Let's uh, let's look at the audio interface first. So in order for all of this to work, it's important that you have this universal control. Now, when you get a Persona Studio on a studio audio interface, words, you have to get this universal control program because it kind of helps the ASIO stuff and you need that for low latency for music. So it's important these out of the box do not come with this loopback enabled. This loopback is off. For this application, this use case, we are going to leave this as virtual because that's what we need. We well, can see it a little better. See less of my face because you don't need to see that. Just to reiterate, we want to have this loop box on loop back on virtual. And what that's going to allow it to do is any output that the computer is outputting through the ASIO channel in the audio interface is going to get looped back as a virtual input that can be read by the Mixline program. Let's kind of start talking about Mixline. First off, look at this UI. It is just absolutely beautiful. It's simple to follow. It's really intuitive. It's got a native dark mode, which is a huge plus. And it's cool because it can list all of your input and all of your output devices. Now, when you start off with this program, it's not going to have any of these here, so you have to populate it. And then after you populate it, you can organize it. So that's really nifty because you can have different audio paths, have different mixes basically. And that's really important for like the stream. Like I don't need to hear myself talking how this is set up with like NVIDIA broadcast, the vocal microphone. I don't need to hear myself talking. So this can go straight to the mix line stream. Likewise, the virtual input that I was talking about, that loopback feature, I don't need to hear that, otherwise it would be double audio. So this is just going straight to the Mixline stream. Very, very nice, very intuitive. So A plus on UI being simple and easy to follow. I really like it. And plus, it makes it easy to set up in OBS because this Mixline stream right here, that shows up in your OBS as an audio output capture, I believe could be wrong it might be input but it shows up as mixline stream so you do all of your audio mixing in mixline so that it offloads that from your obs makes it a little simpler to set up which is really really nice now let's look at a little bit of the functionality this is great for on the fly individual volume volume control of every app that you have selected in here you can on the fly like adjust like say you're listening to spotify you're like oh crap that's way too loud you can just drop it down and it lowers the volume. Totally awesome. Very easy. Another added plus is that you can use Neural DSP or any other AMP software plugin and you can run them in ASIO. Now this is huge because us as musicians, we care about latency. If something has too much latency, we can't play to it. It's not gonna sound right when we do videos or anything. So having no latency between what you're playing and what you're hearing. Is absolutely huge. So the fact that this can do that, like mind blowing. So that's really nice. It takes minimal processing power. If I pull it up here in, what is that, task manager? task manager and I'd look at all the different processors that's going on. We can scroll down, find mix line, and you can see it's it's taken a little bit of RAM, which okay, big deal. But otherwise it's taken like 0% CPU, 0% GPU. It's it doesn't take much power. It's not gonna affect performance in any game or anything that you may have. Talking about games, we all also play games on the side, right? And sometimes stream it. Now this is kind of an annoyance. So if you look at my mix line setup here, you see that like Call of Duty, Overwatch, and God of War 
They all have their separate audio inputs. This is cool, I guess. However, it makes it a little annoying to have to individually set up your games before you can hear them if you're using Mixline as your main like audio routing because on your speakers output, you have to have everything in speakers Mixline. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to hear it. This kind of takes control over everything. I would say that's a small dock. You open up a new game and you have to wait till the program opens for it to show up as your add input and then you get it in here, set the audio level and route it where you need it to go. So that's a little bit of a minor annoyance, but maybe it can get fixed sometime with like a smart input that uh, detects when a game is played and it just has an overall game slider. I'm not sure. I absolutely love that I can stream off of one computer now. It's totally simplifies the setup and no lag it, and it sounds awesome. <laughs> That being said, Mixline is an absolutely great option. It is in beta right now, so little things could get improved. Like I said, the the smart input for the for the games, um, but it's a great option to route different programs with different volume levels to different outputs. Whether that be to your headphones, to your stream, or you have like maybe speakers in the room and you only want certain things to go to the speakers, whatever may have you, this allows you to do that. That's 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 priceless. You know, the UI is very easy to use. It's simple to follow, it's intuitive, everything's with these pretty little lines, and when you first set this up, you might have to like rearrange these in order to get it to look aesthetically pleasing, but either case, it's still very simple to follow. The program does exactly what it's intended to do. The setup may take a little trial and error depending on your experience dealing with audio routing and audio capture. It's nothing that you can't tackle if I can figure it out anybody can figure it out. That's going to be it today. Hope you enjoyed this little talk and hope this helps some of you guys set up your stuff. With that, I'm out. Happy holidays. Hope you all got some loot and we'll see you at the next one.